Hello farm family. It's a little windy out here, so I hope the wind's not too bad. But we have got a bunch of horses here and I wanted to show you our horses and introduce you to a new horse that just came to the farm the other night. So I'll introduce you to him last. <laughs> looking awesome and here's Lily and she should be about five or six months pregnant now and she's starting to look it so she she tested pregnant so she unless she slipped her colt everything should be good we have this horse that we're calling Hank Lisa that took Dakota to California asked if we had named him yet and I said no lots of great suggestions and she said to me he looks like a Hank and I was like that's a good one we'll go with Hank so he's the one that's super gentle but he's he's lame he's got some real arthritic knees and he's just an older horse that I hope we can find a good home for him because he's just, he's too nice and sweet to not be able to enjoy retirement, but hay prices are so high, it's hard to find people right now that, that can give these older horses a home. And so then there's Xander here and Xander's doing so good. Look at his leg, how that's all that's still lacking to be healed but it's almost there my mom's pine gum salve has worked its wonders and xander's doing so good huh xander there's lily again and here's chipper over here she's our 21 year old old faithful mare that we love and she's in full by gold 66 i can't wait to see that baby Here's Lex, the mother to Miss 66 that went to Florida, and also the mother to Peaches. And she's in full by 66. And then here's Prince Jack that just came up and wants to be right here in my way. So we've got a ton of animals here right now. And here's Stormy. Stormy still has a gone to her home yet should be going the first part of December but look how gentle she is she just wants to come out and love on me now and then here's Blake's horse back here that he's gonna train but he hasn't had any time with basketball season but this is the one we got at the same time as Dakota and he is just a beautiful Appaloosa buckskin. And the only other one still to introduce to you is Salt. We have Salt and we used to have a black donkey called Pepper. But now our black donkey's prick Prince Jack. But anyway, that's a lot of horses and uh, we will get comments like, there's not even hay in there. <laughs> it's okay, we feed them twice a day, I promise. They're just out in the pasture chilling, doing good. But we've, oh, I got, I'll show you two more horses. And then 66 is up in Colorado. So 66 is my roan stallion. Actually, I'll throw, show you three other horses besides the new one. I'm excited to t introduce you to the new horse, but I've got three others to talk to you about besides 66 that's up in Colorado. 
So those of you that watch our channel will know why 66 is in Colorado, but there's always new people watching our videos. And so I need to tell you, for those of you that are new, but I have a homozygous roan stallion. That means every mare that he's bred to will have, that has a, a foal will have a roan baby. If you don't know what roan is, Google it. The color roan for a horse, it, it like puts frosting on them. It's, those of you that know, watch our channel know like um, Chip 66 was a bay roan. He was a bay horse with a frosting over the top. Anyway, so Martin's quarter horses, sorry I'm climbing over the fence here. Martin's quarter horses in Bayfield, Colorado has leased him for two years and I'm so excited because that means he's going to be exposed to some of the prettiest mares in the country and have some amazing babies. So go check out Martin's Quarter Horses in Bayfield, Colorado and go reserve a baby from them. Well, right there is Duchess and we love her. Those of you that just watched our, our video of the family rodeo saw that we had a blast with her. And here's Rawhide, Blake's horse. And Blake loves Rawhide. And so do most of you that watch our channel. But what's not to love this big, pretty buckskin. He's got three stocking feet. And he's actually, see the white on, to, he's got some roan on him. See how he's kind of got the frosted butt there. Well, let me go introduce you to one more. Not introduce you, a lot of you already know him. But let's go see Gold 66, and then I'll tell you about the new horse. Hey, Gold 66, let me turn this around and we'll show them how beautiful you are. What do you think, bud? How are you? How are you, buddy? Yeah, you're sure pretty. Well, there's Gold 66. He's our two-year-old stallion. He is from Martin's Quarter Horses. So if you can imagine horses that look like him being crossed on 66, it's gonna be a heck of a combination. But now let me go introduce you to a new horse. Some of you'll think, Alan, why are you getting a new horse? And that's a good question. Except for those of you that watch our channel know that I'm a sucker for horses. And especially if I find one that is kind of special, I love to help them go to new homes, better homes. And my friend, Martin, reached out. He's from the Navajo Reservation and he had this horse and he said, I need this, some hay money for my other horses. And so I've decided to sell this horse that he calls Hemi. Well, last night he brought him to the farm. Let me show you. All right, so look at our newest project here. This horse is a Gruya. And my friend Martin here brought it to me. Look at that beautiful sunset tonight. He just needs some hay money for his other horses, so. How old did you say he is, Martin? He's about five. About five? Yeah. I remember seeing him out there that one day. Is he easy to catch? Oh, not really. He's kind of spooky. Okay. Oh, he's beautiful. So, anyway, tell us what we should call this guy. Or do you already have a name for him? I called him Hemi. Hemi? Yeah. Like a truck. That's awesome. Beautiful horse here. Hemi. Alright, well, it'll be a fun project for us. 
Well, what did you think of Hemi? Isn't he beautiful? Let me turn the camera around and I'll talk about him as we show you Hemi. So here's Hemi. He's a, a Gruya. That's a, see the mousy gray color? He is a beautiful horse. Martin says he's about four or five years old. He's been castrated and we're gonna see what we can do with him to help him find a new home. He has not been ridden yet, although he is broke to lead. And he's a beautiful, I mean, just so classy. Four stocking feet, the Gruya color. And he is just a beautiful horse. And I'm excited to see if we can help him find a good home. If we have time, we'll start riding him and training on him. We'll see what we can do. You can tell he probably needs to be dewormed. His tail's a little ratted in the back. But anyway, there are people contacting me almost every day. Well, I shouldn't say every day. Several a week. And they say, hey, hey, prices are so high, we can't afford to feed our horses. Are you still buying horses? And I, I have to be careful what I buy. I, I love to help horses get to new homes, but I also have to be careful. Thanks to so many of you that have been helpful. We have a sweet follower and friend named Polly that she contributes $50 each paycheck to help us. It's just amazing. I can't even imagine um, the kindness that she has shown us as well as so many of the rest of you. We just had a big donation from a family. I don't have the name with me right now and I don't know if they'd want me saying their name on the air anyway, but some of you have been, so many of you have been so kind to either get on our Amazon wish list or send a donation and we're not asking for those at all. So, um, I mean, I guess the Amazon wish list, it's, it's just that, it's a wish list. We're not saying, please go on there and buy us something. But some of you have sent us things and it's been very helpful. When you're dealing with horses right now, hay prices, I've heard some hay prices for three wire alfalfa bales of premium hay is around $30 a bale now. That is crazy. And so it is so hard to feed horses. And so I've got to be a little picky as to what I'm willing to bring home just because if they're going to be a hard one to find a home for, like Hank, he's going to be hard to find a home for. I sure hope I can find a home for him. I had an idea. I have a veterinarian friend who wanted a kid or a horse for his grandkids. And I'm going to reach out to him and see if maybe I could just see if he'll take him and, and uh, maybe he'll have the expertise to help him get some relief. And uh, he would be a great grandkids horse. But anyway, um, so I, one like Hemi here, as beautiful as he is with that color and those that chrome, the, the four white stocking feet, He's already gilded, he's healthy, he's not lame or have problems. I think we can find him a good home. And so it was one that I didn't mind taking a, a risk on. But anyway, we've had great success and luck thanks to so many of you helping us. Dakota just went to California last week. Lisa sent me a, a few video clips and uh, maybe I'll throw those on here. I don't remember. It's funny with YouTube, if you video sideways, then it it fills the screen. If you go up and down, it doesn't. So anyway, I'll see if, if I have something that I can share. Alan, this is my friend Deborah. She is attempting to lead him. He just got here literally maybe, what, 10 minutes ago? 10 minutes ago. But Dakota went to California, doing really good. Some of you have wondered about Stormy. Stormy 
is not our horse. Uh, Laura paid us to train her for a month and get her gentle. And we've had a lot of fun working with her, but she's not our horse. She'll be going to Laura at the beginning of December, the first week or so of December. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed me introducing you. It's not often that all of our horses, but 66 are in one location. And so I just thought, what the heck, I'm gonna walk around and introduce you to all our horses and talk about them a little bit. So Hemi here, we will be looking for a good home for him. And we will be looking for a good home for this buckskin, but Blake really wants to train him and get him ready to sell before Blake goes on his mission. Stormy is not for sale. She's Laura's. There's Xander that's coming two years old this spring and is healthy and doing good now. If we find him a good home now, we'll let him go. Otherwise, we'll train him in the spring. And the rest, oh, and Hank, we hope to find a good home for. And, you know, I've even been thinking maybe Eho could go to a new home. Just as much as I love him, we haven't had the time that we need to get him trained like he needs to be. So anyway, we have the problem everyone else has. Not enough time or money to, to get it all done. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed being introduced to some of these horses and uh, hope you have a great day.